standard eight and form four. First of all, I want to bring to you once again a message from His Excellency the President, who is wishing you all the very best. You have done very well. Young minds recover very quickly. You are doubting Thomas, but you have seen with the example of the children behind us that they have recovered, they have covered all that they require to cover. The stress that they have is unfounded. Because as we administer the exam from Monday, all we need is what they have in their head. Whatever they have shall be good enough, and there is no cause for that. Let me warn for the last time, as we are watching, because this examination is being done, that we have to be more careful. So don't think we don't know what we are doing. Otherwise, all the very best. I strongly believe that the exams are going to be okay. COVID is ready and available. Can we ensure that in schools and during the examination process, no other person except authorized people access schools? Those that access schools on duty of monitoring or whatsoever must adhere strictly to the COVID-19 regulation. Otherwise, all the very best to all the children and it shall come to pass, even though the rate is now very high. What worries me is our culture, because even the learned members of the Fourth State and other people have refused to observe the social distance. We could have just scattered a little bit. We still have done this uh, from us. I'm very grateful for now to see that we are all wearing masks and we are wearing masks. Thank you very much. There are also uh, some students, perhaps, who are maybe Going some challenges, especially maybe if I ask them to ask, uh, access the examination centers just to assess what the level of preparedness that the schools are facing. You know, I don't know whether I'm the one who doesn't speak good English. I said nobody shall be allowed to access the examination centers. Mm -hmm. Forget about the media. The media is just one about mm -hmm. uh, about 1,000 other schools. You will not be allowed to enter the examination center and when the exam is going on unless there's a very special circumstance. So check that to the bank. It will not be allowed. Media are allowed to come and see us when we are opening the container. You can look at the transport of the exam. The moment you reach the gate of the school, it is a no-go area. We love our children. Now, as far as the children who have challenges are concerned, I want to assure the nation that every child who deserves to take an examination shall take an examination. This is not the first time we are going to deliver exams to children who have just given birth in hospitals or people who are sick who can do the exam. Those who are very ill and cannot do exams, this again is not the first time. They will then register for the next exam, but any child who has capacity to do an exam, we shall ensure, the government will ensure that the examination is taken to the child. We are not reinventing anything. The numbers may be many, but it has been done every year, except where, for example, the private school folded up and the child shifted to another school. The Kenya National Examination Council has prepared itself to deal with that issue. There are a few of my own staff who are trying to move children from one center to another. Do not dare. Those children, those exams are security documents. And when you move a child from one center to another, you must tell us what you are trying to do and why you are doing so. If, for example, a child relocated from Mombasa to Kisumu, we have that data and we shall give appropriate authorization at the right time because that child's paper will have gone somewhere else. The time was too short for us to, to register the students again. Now, the children, yes. I was asking what, what, what are the plans that the ministry has put in place to ensure that uh, those uh, students and people who are expecting or are nursing babies will sit for the exams. And then 